రాష్ట్ర రాజధాని హైదరాబాద్కు అరుదైన గౌరవం దక్కింది ప్రపంచ క్రియాశీల నగరాల జాబితాల్లో వరుసగా మూడో ఏడాది అగ్రస్థానంలో నిలిచింది హైదరాబాద్ ప్రపంచ వ్యాప్తంగా నూట ముప్పై నగరాలపై అధ్యయనం జరిపిన ప్రముఖ స్థిరాస్తి అధ్యయన సంస్థ జేఎల్ఎల్ రూపొందించిన సిటీ మూమెంటమ్ ఇండెక్స్లో మోస్ట్ డైనమిక్ సిటీగా హైదరాబాద్ మొదటి స్థానంలో నిలిచింది Released this report where Hyderabad, in fact, for the second time in in three years, has topped the charts and has uh, been announced by JLL Global as the most dynamic city in their momentum index. So, firstly, thank JLL for this, and uh, secondly, let me also point out quickly. I loved uh, the last slide, Samantak. In fact, uh, what what was shown there was that in 2014, Hyderabad was not even on the list. Hyderabad was nowhere in the top 20 um, and then in uh, 2015 I think we slowly crept in we got to the 20th slot and then in 2016 we rose to the 6th sorry 5th position 2017 we were third 2018 we topped 2019 we swapped places with Bangalore we were second and 2020 we back right where we belong on top of the charts The reason why I say this with a lot of pride is because, you know, this, uh, again, not to blow my own trumpet, but I do have to share an incidental fact that uh, when the new state of Telangana was being formed, there were a lot of doubts, you know, as to what would happen to Hyderabad, how would it, you know, uh, uh, how would it progress, etc., etc. But what this does show you, this momentum index does show you is, obviously in 2014, we just got started in June 2014. so we were not part of the list 2015 we got in with a positive momentum just beginning and we slowly but steadily rose it rose in the ranks and uh, you know rode through the uh, uh, you know various facets of governance and today i'm delighted that in 2018 19 and 20 we've been one two and one again so i'm obviously thrilled excited and uh, more importantly this is not this is not uh, a, a home I mean, not not to uh, uh, sort of uh, cast, uh, you know, uh, any aspersions on the homegrown, uh, uh, you know, um, reports that are released every so often. But I think this is somebody by the name Jeremy, Jeremy Kelly, who is author of this, and Rupert Davies. They're all headquartered in Chicago, either Chicago in, in the U.S. And they've analyzed 130 cities across the world. And along with Oxford Economies and UN data, they've used, in fact, several other research data available across the world and together with all these credible agencies JLL Global has taken painstakingly compiled this report and has come out with this and I'm thrilled and excited that uh, Hyderabad has been acknowledged and Hyderabad has been recognized. Now what is even more heartening for me from, from, from uh, my ministry's perspective from my, uh, you know, my own personal passion of promoting innovation. You all remember in 2015 we launched T-Hub. In fact, myself and Jayesh Ranjan, we keep doing a lot of events related to innovation. We keep talking about, you know, we keep referring to our state as a startup state, etc., etc. So what is exciting and thrilling for me is when um, Ramesh and Samantha and Sandeep had mentioned innovation economy and how Hyderabad, according to this research report, ranks on par with Shenzhen and Shanghai globally. On innovation, if you are able to compete with, say, Shenzhen and Shanghai, I think you've done reasonably well for yourself. So I'm thrilled and excited that uh, we are able to... Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and more importantly, in India, we are number one on that innovation economy front as well. And I was also informed that 50% uh, of the weightage was from the commercial real estate and 50% for the various socio-economic indicators. Well, commercial real estate, of course, will continue to happen with business expansion, with uh, innovative policies like TSI pass coming in, with our focus on innovation economy and with the state government, you know, advocating proactive policies. Obviously, investments will continue to pour in is what I would hope. And tomorrow, in fact, I'm leaving for Davos and I'll, obviously, this, is, this will come in handy because I can obviously flaunt this a bit and, you know, show off a bit that Hyderabad is actually, you know, the number one state, uh, number, number one city on the momentum index. Another thing I wanted to point out quickly, 50% of the weightage while it comes from the commercial real estate which happens by way of uh, attracting investments. What is even more heartening is the socio-economic indi indicators which also add 50% to the weightage and that includes engine room population. 
engine room population apparently i've never heard this term this is the first time i'm hearing it it's an american term i'm told so anybody in the age group of 20 to 40 you know apparently the productive lot i'm 43 so i'm obviously not uh, so the 20 to 40 age group the engine room population apparently is quite high in hyderabad in fact we are number one on that as well and um, I'm delighted that 40 percent of hyderabad's population is in this 20 to 40 age group so again all other cities in india all the other seven or other six in fact that are featured in top 20 are less than 40 and hyderabad is above 40. that's also another huge demographic advantage which goes our way and i think that will continue to help us you know push our innovation economy push our uh, advantage with respect to the demographic dividend that we keep talking about also economic output retail sales air connectivity corporate headquarters foreign direct investments etc etc so these are all the socio economic momentum indicators or variables that jl global has uh, factored and i'm delighted that not only on the commercial real estate which of course is jll's main business but also on the socio economic front hyderabad seems to be doing well telangana as a state also seem, seems to be doing well and uh, what is even more thrilling and uh, exciting is out of the 130 cities globally this is not an indian city indian uh, it is not a face off between indian cities this is a face off between 130 cities globally and hyderabad has come out on the top for you know 3 years in a row so excited thrilled thank you jll for this but um, obviously this also means our work is cut out we also have to start planning more infrastructure as the city grows as uh, as the city you know continues with its uh, momentum we also have to myself and mayor we both have our task cut out and we both have to do a lot more work we'll continue to do that of course and um, what this also offers to us as a state is you know answers to all those questions that were posed about 5 years ago whether telangana would thrive whether telangana would progress whether hyderabad what would happen to hyderabad etc etc this answers a lot of detractors at home and also not my home as in telangana and you know you know what i mean uh, at home and also to a lot of my political opponents as well as to how the state has been performing so thank you very much